I feel like we just found out about the Royal Knight Selection Test and we're already here. That's what the title of this one is and I am so excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 73. Like I said, called the Royal Knight Selection Test. Last episode, we uh, ended our Hot Springs training camp arc with more motivation, more power, transformations. And now we go into this tournament or whatever it's going to be with new characters, powers, rules. And then we go after that, we go to attack the Eye of the Midnight Sun. See, those just have dopeness on top of dopeness, on top of more dopeness. So I'm just ready and I'm super excited to hop into this. I, I can't wait any longer, I say we go. Remember though, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, uh, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description like always. If you guys wanna support me and Patreon's not really your thing, you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below. It truly does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post over here on the Dapper channel. And then don't forget, follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, TikTok now, Twitch and Twitter at Dapper Darius. Don't forget we have a PO box if you guys ever wanna send me any art to hang up, fan mail, anything like that. All info is in the description, like always. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 73, the Royal Knight Selection Test. Let's do it. This is the guy from the ending. Vice Captain of the Purple Orca, Zerks Lugner. Two-bit flunkies, who is this man? Damn. Damn. Ice Slicer, okay. Oh, they're not gonna show it? This guy must be insanely strong. He's taking care of a vice captain with no sweat. Who is this guy? That's why I said new characters, I'm always ready. Oh yeah. Healing and support. She is one of my favorites. That's royalty, that's my girl. I love they're giving us reintroductions of everyone. Let's do it. His steel magic. See, his steel compared to like Aesir's liquid steel looks super different, you know? I was literally gonna say he said he never agreed to that. That's so funny. I could so picture Bell just saying, we're going on a date tomorrow. He's like, yeah, whatever. And one, he's the glass one, right? Glass magic, if I remember correctly. Or is it sand? No, he is sand. Alagdora. Yeah, Mimosa being relaxed? Not anymore. Oh, they are funny. She's just still curious about those hot springs. They're just completely ignoring her? Jesus. Don't worry, Mimosa. We can go to a hot springs together. What haircut is this for Finroll? What do they think? He's Langris? <laughs> they don't even know he's Finroll. <laughs> I'm saying that new hair. Okay, I see you with the little green dye. Vanessa did it too. Vanessa can dye my hair whenever. What is that, like magic razors? Magic trimmer? Hey, respect. Matches, oh, matches your fit too. You guys gotta stop roasting my boy. He just wants to feel good. Come on. You guys are doing him dirty. I've been told I should get frosted tips before. Don't roast my man, Finral. Oh, hell, oh, solid. I hope she makes it and you don't. Wouldn't that be a nice change of pace? That's my girl. Talk your shit. She's doing it still respectfully? It's so fuck solid. Damn, the 28th Wizard King? I want to see 1 through 27. No bullshit. Team competition, a magic crystal destruction battle tournament. Protect your own team's crystal, which will be placed in your area. It's like a fucking game, like really. It's like capture the flag, essentially. Except destroy the flag. Impromptu teamwork will have to be a essential part in fighting the Eye of the Midnight Sun. So I can understand how this could be up. It's not just pure battle power and, and, and fight strength, stuff like that. Yep, I like it. I was wondering why it would be this, but I like this reasoning. <laughs> and he just wants to see more magic. Yep. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Asta Mimosa. Hell yeah. Always great to have such a nice, awesome healer support. 
He's the guy. He's he's the saint of pure ice. Is he impersonating? Or is he just breaking in? Other people of the purple orcas would be sure to recognize him, right? Or am I crazy? Like, the Wizard King surely knows who Xerx is, right? Yeah. Okay, Marks, right? What's what's What the hell is going on here? So maybe not a lot of people know who Xerx is? Because you think people would be like... <laughs> yes, no laughing matcher. But Julius can handle anything, so if he's laughing, I'll laugh too. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, a stink bug? What did, what did he just prank the shit out of him? It's a prank, bro. What is his motivation? Why is he here during this test? Why is he in the Okay, that's what my biggest question was. Obviously, Julius knows, and I think he's playing it off very well, I would say. He's like, oh, he must have did a makeover after being gone for so long. Like, yeah, Marx is the one taking it seriously, which good. But I do have faith my boy Julius could literally wipe this whole fucking planet, face of the planet off the earth, so I don't know. But... That actually answers why no one would recognize Xerxes, because he was stationed at one of the bordering towns, so he's very low-key. But they've heard rumors of Xerxes. You know, he's a vice-captain of one of the squads, so obviously, but... Are we all Magic Knights here? That guy, I don't think, is a Magic Knight at all. C-Team. Oh, another Vermilion? Soul and Ma- Who is he? Okay, watch out. That's my boy Magna. She is a huge woman. And Ringo, oh, you know Noel? Interesting. <laughs> yes, you are. Another one from the Praying Mantises. Luck, Pooley. What the heck, Pooley? And then the Klaus. The Cheery Berserker, yep. Didn't you, have, didn't you guys meet before at that underwater temple? Not the underwater temple, the other temple, the first temple we went to, where it was Luck, Asta, Klaus, yeah. I swear we've all met before. Finral, Leopold, and Hammond. That's an interesting team. I guess that's just what rich people do. Nobles? Ah, 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 Ooh, another portal user like Finral. Spatial magic, yes. <laughs> have fun. Oh, this is the... Wow, it's actually like a... And they have uh, thrones for the both the wizard, the both the kings to be able to sit and watch the matches. Impromptu setups. This, yeah, I like this. This could be a battle stage in like a, a fighting game, you know? Like a Tekken or a Jump Force. You can break them through the wall, go into the next area, you know? Ooh, this should be interesting. This should be good. This should be good. Okay, second rounds, Langris and uh, Finral. Hell yeah. My boy, what was his name? I have his name down. He's so dope. Owen. Thank you for telling me. I miss him. So they're not going for the royal... So, that's one thing I was wondering. Is it everyone who has to go for it? No, but you want to try out for the royal... So, so, uh, royal select... Whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. So, only a select few are trying out. So, Vanessa, Charmy, the rest of them aren't. But I'm surprised Finroll wants to. Like, he said he needs a pump up himself. I appreciate it. I respect it. My man's going out there. Shouts out to Finroll. Wouldn't that be the best seat in the house? Eating a cupcake on a Wizard King's lap? Fuck it, I would do that. Ooh, ooh. I don't know anyone on the other team, so this will be interesting. Ha <laughs> ha. Patito Clova. Mosa again. With all kinds of women. And bring women. Okay. <laughs> she thinks we're gay. Okay. Mimosa is funny. Yeah, you should probably take her sometime. She wants to go so super, super bad. Yeah, so you should probably go, Asta, with her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I am most definitely curious about... I don't even know his name, so I can't even talk about him. But this Zerks wannabe. 
Um, like I said, I like the reasoning of how people, why people didn't know him. I think Julius definitely knows, but I, I'm curious why he's not taking it a little more serious as he should, like Marx is. I assume it's because he is just on a different plane of power than everyone else, so he can just take care of any issues. I sure hope so, because I want to know this wannabe Xerxes' motivation and his reason for coming. He said, I just came to make fun of you all, but is that really it? Like, I could make fun of people without having to leave and go do a lot of work to do it you know i could just make fun of people from here i'm just curious what his true motivation is where he came from his actual name and stuff like that i'm super curious and i, I wonder if any characters are gonna win him over you know like i wonder if asa is gonna win him over like he does a lot of the other people that asa tends to win over that don't like asa at the beginning so i'm curious i'm curious to know his powers i'm curious to see everyone's powers here this is gonna be some crazy fights um i do like the rules and setting of the game now like julius said it's not just combative like there's going to be a lot of utilitarian spells and a lot of support spells as well so i'm very excited about all that and and then we got our black bulls here in a song so what's not to be hyped about you know i am just oh 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 so excited actually yeah i say we just hop right into this next episode you know because i gotta watch this first fight if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below i'm about to get into this uh check out the patreon if you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes we are four episodes early over there <laughs> have a great day peace out you guys